yo man what's up YouTube today I'm gonna show y'all how to get better blocks and how to not get dunked on when I was at 87 and I didn't have any blocks I will get dunked on by my glass clean finisher dog patrol every time but it's not just like a once thing or like twice he'll dunk on me three times it don't matter because it only happens a couple times and the reason why is because I upgraded my player when I upgraded my player, I upgraded my interior defense and my block. These things help you. These things are like, when YouTubers say upgrade those things, they're not telling you to upgrade them just to upgrade your overall. They're telling you to upgrade them because it actually does something on your player. And it actually helps. And the badges y'all going to need are these badges right here. For you to not get dunked on like that. If you jump and you don't need to, that pogo stick will work, bro. Silver pogo stick. The other badges that help you not get dunked on. Rim protector. Intimidator. Uh, those are the badges that really help you not get dunked on. Hey, chase down artist. It only works when you're going for a chase down block. Lightning reflexes actually help too. Because it gives the defender an advantage to read where the ball hander is going to read and react to system. So it boosts your reactive, your reflexes basically. And that's going to help me when Dark Patrol is trying to dunk on me. But if you don't like it on a uh, Hall of Fame, you could do that. Or you could, uh, Tyler's Defender helps you get snatch blocks and allows players to play more deals without losing energy. So I'll say put on that because like, y'all don't really need to be jumping like that. I jump so I can get a snatch block. But usually I really don't jump. Also, uh, if you guys don't have a 80 or a 90, if I already said this because I don't remember, if you already had it, go buy some boost, some block boost, so then you won't get dunked on like that. Because I used to have a 70, but that's the smartest way to do it. It's very smart. So, hey, wh wh what are you doing? I'm telling you, go buy your boost. Boost right there, right there. Go buy your boost. Anyway, that's the perfect method on how to buy, on how to get blocks. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to get a snatch block. When I'm getting this, look, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put a clip in. I'm gonna just put a clip in at the end. I'm gonna just put a clip in. So when I'm going in, so. Okay, so you just seen that snatch block. How I got that snatch block is not because I had my takeover. It was also because I was holding down on R2 so I can be more aggressive. Like, R2 makes you more aggressive. Makes you do, like, it also makes you run faster, but it also makes you aggressive. One thing, one thing that you need to uh, do, don't hold down on L2. I, my friend Dog Patrol told me that, and yes, that do work, but when I hold it down on R2, I was getting more snatch blocks, and, when, and even when I do hold down on L2, I only got like a, a one snatch block, and then I wouldn't get another snatch block. I, in one of my mixtapes, I got two snatch blocks a game, and one time I got three snatch blocks a wreck. Basically, the reason how I'm doing this method is because I'm holding down on R2, Hold down on R2, because it does work. It really does work, okay? And I bet you, if you go into one of Snag or Hulk's comments and ask him, how do you get snatch blocks? Go ahead, and let's see what he says. R2. I'm really, I'm really, really sure that it's R2. You could get a snatch block every game. 
So I recommend you guys listen to me and you guys will be getting stash rocks. Okay, and another reason if why you should jump is if you uh <clears throat> if you're going against like somebody who know that they'll dunk on you like a two way finisher because they're 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 they're, they're that ninety four dunk when they hit ninety nine they get a ninety five dunk so they're gonna be able to they're gonna be able to be dunking on you at any time they're gonna be yamming it on your head every time so I recommend you guys listen to me uh. Jump when they jump. Jump when they jump, and I recommend you guys are going to get a snatch block. Because, uh, it's really not hard for real. If it's hard for you guys, I'm so sorry. But, uh, it really should be easy because the only thing you're doing. Oh, yeah. For that snatch block, you also need to do it right when he jumps. So, if you don't do it when, right when he jumps, right when he goes up for the jump, you're most definitely going to get that snatch block. If you don't get it, you don't get it. At least you try it. But it's really easy, so go ahead. Oh, wait, but oh, oh, hold on. Uh, put on these badges because I get lots of snatch box with these badges, and yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. This is how you get your snatch blocks and more blocks. Make sure, uh, if you have a Hall of Fame Intimidator, y'all really shouldn't be jumping, but I just jump because I like getting in a snatch box. I like getting clips for y'all so I can, uh, so I can do some like this. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Can y'all go ahead and like, subscribe, because I do post bangers, and we out.